and welcome back to Icarus Tips and Tricks. This is episode two. In addition to episode one and the use of diagonal beams, this is what can happen when you don't use vertical stoppers. Oh! Oh! You'll need to turn it on again. Ooh! <laughs> now kill that other one, please. In the Arctic, you're quite obviously going to get snow, but this is why you use a slanted roof instead of a flat one. We built this in the Arctic to prove that not even a stone flat roof will take the weight of the snow. Now, if you're anything like me, then you too have been miles from home and caught out in a storm. But don't worry, just find a boulder and burrow into it. Make sure you do this whilst crouched, so it makes it difficult for predators to come in behind you. If your storm exposure doesn't go down, then you're either in too far or not far enough in. If you're new to the game and creating a new character, save yourself some blueprint points and step away from the thatch. It might be cheap and easy to use, but it'll blow down if you so much as sneeze on it. Now, given the fact that both the thatch trapdoor floor and the trapdoor require level five, as does the wooden structures, do yourself a favor. Just go straight for the wood. A second thing that you can do for your new character early on whilst you're trying to save those vital blueprint points is excise the oxidizer. It's not worth it. The oxygen doesn't last very long and you only get one breath at a time. Instead, unlock tier two at level 10 and go straight for the oxide dissolver. It can hold four oxygen containers and the oxygen lasts for much, much longer. Another notable fact worth mentioning, especially to the new player, is the stealth attack. It will give you a two and a half times damage multiplier. And note the sound meter on the left here. That will tell you how much noise you're making as you travel. The following clips will show this working, whatever the weapon. The next tip and trick I wish to show you is the H2O Instafill. Take your near empty water container and place it in an empty hot slot. I chose number seven. Then go over to the rain reservoir and hit the button for your chosen slot. Then hit your interact button and watch the magic happen. Now 
Next thing to talk about is storage. And for a new character, this can be difficult. But I'm going to point you in the direction of the good old-fashioned pestle and mortar. For only four silica and 12 stone, they can be crafted at the crafting bench over and over again. Here's a few examples of where they can be deployed. This little tidbit is all about antifreeze in the Arctic. This little icon here tells you that you're freezing. The best way to avoid this is to remove your canteen from your drinking slot before you get to the Arctic. When you're building an Icarus, have you ever found yourself wondering what to do with these new half pieces that have been introduced into the game? Well, me and my team have found a rather novel use for them. We use them for shelving. This means that our four-man team can live in a 3 by 3 by 2 structure. It gives us twice as much room with half the space. <laughs> 